Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis launches appeal for Syria and Turkey. Jerusalem Conference rejects measures to weaken Christian presence in the Holy Land. Official and popular events in Jordan send urgent aid to earthquake victims in Syria and Turkey. We also have the Union of Religious Orders in Jordan meets for the third time in Na'ur in Amman. Welcome back. During his public address with the faithful, His Holiness Pope Francis launched an appeal for Syria and Turkey, in which he said, My thoughts at this moment turn to the inhabitants of these two countries, who were severely affected by the earthquake that caused thousands of deaths and injuries. I also thank those who provide relief, aid and assistance, and I encourage everyone to show solidarity with the people of those lands, who are suffering because of the long wars, asking for the intercession of our Virgin Mother to protect them and pray for them. The final statement of the conference in support of Jerusalem, which was held last Sunday in Cairo, called for stopping Israeli attempts to change the historical and legal status in the old city, as well as rejecting systematic Israeli measures to undermine churches and weaken the Christian presence in the holy city. The statement also valued the Jordanian role in the care, protection and maintenance of Islamic and Christian sanctities in the holy city within the framework of the Hashemite custodianship. The earthquake, which struck areas in Syria and Turkey, caused tens of thousands of victims and injuries. It also resulted in severe damage in all sectors, facilities and residential neighborhoods. The magnitude of the earthquake reached 7.8 on the Rector scale. In response to the call of humanity and duty, the government and civil agencies in the kingdom around the clock collected cash and in-kind donations to deliver them to the affected people in the affected areas. Within the activities of the World Harmony Week initiative, the Jordanian Christian Youth Club in Zarqa, in cooperation with many official bodies and various events, organized the second Harmony Conference under the title of Hashmite Care of Religious Sanctities. Minister of Culture Haifa Najjar said in a speech during her sponsorship of the conference that the great role played by the Hashmites in caring for the Islamic and Christian sanctities in Jerusalem brought these sanctuaries to safety and protected them from successive attacks by the extremist settlers. President of the Christian Youth Club, Fatin Smirat, in the presence of a number of deputies and the governorate's officials said, This conference comes as a reminder of the importance of religious harmony and the need to preserve the religious sanctities of all religions. Father Khalil Hjazin, priest of the Roman Catholic Parish of Zarqa, and Hayel Ayash, and the acting director of the Zarqa Endowments, Dr. Raed al-Shawabke and Dr. Muhammad Wahib, spoke in the meeting, where everyone stressed the importance of harmony and coexistence among all followers of religions in the world. The conference concluded with an artistic presentation inspired by Jordanian folk heritage, presented by al Rosana Band to revive the heritage. In an atmosphere full of love, peace and joy, the Union of the Monastic Societies met for the third time in a spiritual meeting held in the Latin Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Na'ur, in conjunction with the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes and the World Day of the Sick, in the presence of 81 nuns. The event began with the morning prayer, followed by a spiritual lecture by Sister Virgin Habib and live testimonies of a number of nuns, in which they renewed the covenant of love to enter into the march of the Holy Forty Days Lent. A divine mass presided over by the spiritual guide of the Union, Father Rashid Mistrih, with the participation of Bishop Joseph Jbara and the parish priest, Father Bashir Badr, followed by a candlelight march to the shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. After the mass, everyone gathered around the table of love as one family. St. Sharbil Church in Amman commemorated the dead believers in a divine mass presided over by Father Joseph Swed, pastor of the church, in the presence of a group of believers. In the Sermon of the Mass, Father Suwait said, We remember on this blessed Sunday our dead believers in the Lord and pray for them, where the Word of God invites us to gather in faith and love and translate it to serve the needy and those suffering from the earthquake disaster that struck our brothers in Syria and Turkey. As we remember relatives, friends and loved ones who left this world to rest on the hope of the resurrection, though they are dead but alive in the Lord, pointing out that all the blessings that are in our hands are part of what they have left us. Father Suwait concluded his homily by praying to the Lord to strengthen our faith and hope for life and to keep our dead in our prayers forever. The reopening of St. Joseph Monastery for Dominican nuns, whose monuments were demolished by militants and the entire village was vandalized, was celebrated in the town of Bataina, Nivina Governorate in Iraq. 
The organization Aid of the Church in Need contributed to the reconstruction of the monastery dedicated to the Dominican nuns, as well as the establishment of Children's Park. The director of the organization, Dr. Caroline Hall, who visited areas in Nineveh, announced that the new monastery is a sign of new life after the militants demolished the altars, cut off the heads of the statues, and wrote letters of anti-Christian. For his part, Chaldean Archbishop Paul Tabit called on the townspeople, who left it, to return to their homes and lands. It is noteworthy that the aid of the church in need contributed to the reconstruction of many Iraqi villages that were destroyed by ISIS militants in previous years. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis launches appeal for Syria and Turkey. Jerusalem Conference rejects measures to weaken Christian presence in the Holy City. Official and popular events in Jordan sent urgent aid to earthquake victims in Syria and Turkey. The Union of Religious Orders in Jordan meets for the third time in Na'ur in Amman. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.